Fox, so far this year, there have been 37 water-related accidents in both Maricopa and Pinal counties. And of those victims, 17 have died, and nearly half of the victims were under age five. But tonight, the story of a miracle and an important lesson for all parents. Fox 10 Arizona Mornings, Liz Kodalik joins us live tonight with one little girl's remarkable story, Liz. It truly is remarkable. We unfortunately hear these stories all the time. A parent looks away for what seems like a second, and then the next thing you know, the worst. But tonight, a different perspective for a much different circumstance. Not only are we seeing the results of a miracle, we're hearing the frightening moments before. They're the desperate pleas of a mother, <coughs> begging her daughter to come back to life. <coughs> the attempts at CPR, <coughs> the screams of shock and despair, <coughs> all of it left in a panicked voicemail for her husband to hear moments later. It's like your worst nightmare ever coming true. You know, you hear about it all the time and then it's actually happening in your own house, in your own pool with your own child. On February 25th, just before noon, Julia Thrash was in the middle of battling an intense sickness. She left her one-year-old Jaya to watch TV while she went to the bathroom. But minutes later, it all began as Julia realized her daughter was gone. As soon as I saw the door crack, like I knew she had gotten out there and I saw the pool and I just saw her floating, you know, in the water by the edge and it was horrifying. Like it's the worst panic and anxiety and fear to everything all at one time. She rushed to the pool, brought her lifeless baby inside, tried desperately to undo the more than five minutes Jaya spent underwater. I know I picked her up several times and I was just screaming to her like, Jay, wake up, you know, come back and nothing. She was lifeless. She was freezing. Julia quickly ran to her phone to call emergency crews for help. In her panic, leaving the chilling voicemail. Even accidentally taking selfies, all while hopelessly trying to dial 911. It's horrifying, you know, you're seeing what I went through and it's it's the worst thing ever you know for a parent thinking that I you know I was responsible for her and she got in the pool and now she's laying here and it's it's everything that I was feeling first responders sped to her home took over CPR tried reviving baby Jaya but that work seemingly not enough doctors at Banner Thunderbird pronounced Jaya dead an hour and a half later the grim reality sinking in as the minutes slowly ticked by. But then something unexplainable that to this day has left everyone stunned. The doctor walked in and she said, I don't know how to tell you this, but your baby's breathing. And I just looked at her like I didn't understand what language she was speaking because, you know, for an hour we've been sitting there told our baby was gone. But as nurses were calling the medical examiner's office to take her body away out of nowhere, Jaya let out a cough and somehow came back to life. She dipped in and out of death during a helicopter ride to Phoenix Children's, but she held on as staff worked for days while urging Jaya's parents to be cautiously optimistic. It was awful to sit and, and see her like that and not know, you know, is her brain going to work? Is she ever going to be okay? Will she ever talk again? Will she, you know, ever do anything like she was before? Like it was, it was tough because we didn't know. But soon, the unbelievable proof. An MRI scan didn't show signs of any major brain damage, and a moment in her hospital bed gave hope that baby Jaya was coming back. Well, I put a little bit of chapstick on her because her lips looked really dry, and she looked up and kind of, you know, blotted her lips and then licked her lips, and it was like this moment for me that uh, she's there, you know, she's in there and she's going to be okay. The days and weeks after, everyone watched astonished as Jaya began to walk, even talk, even smile, turning back into the child she always was. And when she finally left the hospital three long weeks later, she came home and began living once again, like nothing had ever happened. So many doctors and nurses came and said, I've been doing this for 20 years and I've never, ever seen this happen. Like, do you understand what has gone on here? This is Jaya Today.
paddling in the water that almost took her life. Swim lessons provided for free after a teacher heard her story, all in a pool now surrounded by a fence donated by the Glendale Fire Department. Those heroes finally getting the chance to meet their miracle girl for themselves. But Jaya ran directly to the officer who was the first to respond on the day that she almost lost her life. We had shared in that moment of mourning our baby, like my baby. The now two-year-old stuns everyone one more time as she hugs the teary-eyed officer, embracing a stranger as if she always knew him. Every day is an amazing day because she's in it, and I was given another chance to be her mom. How about that? Julia hopes that by telling the story, parents will realize that this could happen to anyone at any time. But there's something else that she wants to get out. Julia and her family have met almost all of the people who helped save Jaya's life on that day. But the pilot who flew that little girl from Banner Thunderbird to Phoenix Children's Hospital has yet to be found. Taking Jaya on that flight was very, very risky. She was in such a delicate state. But Phoenix Children's had the equipment that she needed to survive, and that pilot insisted it was in Jaya's best interest to take that chance. So if that life flight pilot is watching tonight, Julia wants to say thank you. You can call us here at Fox 10 and we'll make that meeting happen. Liz Kodalik, Fox 10 News.